Greetings. Here we go. Once again, it is truly one amazing event after the next. And I hope you guys have taken validity and appreciate being able to go to gyms. For those of you who are able to go to gyms, I, I repeat myself on a constant base. When you have an opportunity to operate, operate at full throttle. Never let the moments catch up with you that you're kind of playing a symphony for yourself. It's a beautiful time every single day. That should be the first sentence out of your mouth after. Thank you, God, for waking me up this morning. So I saw a little bit of the weather reports going on and it's a little bananas on the northeast in the northeast. So for those guys who are out there, uh, Coach Marquise and Coach Thomas, I want you to just know, keep your people locked and engaged while you cannot go because, you know, my co-host of the show, Haley, is also up there stuck wanting to work out. And it's a great time to grab a lot of people that are not in your fold on a normal basis. So with that being said, we're going to get started with hopefully everything is going good. We're getting started with this because February, we got to kick off in a major way, just like we have to actually kick that off and kick each and every day off in a major kind of way. There is no exception. No day should be gone at half throttle. Shouts out to you guys. Appreciate it, brother. It's good to see you in the building. I see Denmark. Uh, we have to do the thing again. Copy the link into the description so you guys can. I'll put it in the thing so you can, you know, either type your name beside it so I'll see it. How's it going, brother? I don't know exactly who that is speaking, but put your name beside your uh, beside your comment so I'll know exactly who you are. But it's been, it's, it's just, I w have been up, I've gone to bed extremely early because I've been waking up extremely early and to wake up to a feeling of exuberance, being extra motivated, working around the clock, literally. And some of you know, who've been in my, uh, under my circle, you know that I mean that when I say it, it's the time that you really take this opportunity. There's so many people realizing that they've been kind of left in a situation that they can't get to gyms. A lot of people are really vying to find some place where they can feel comfortable and do it. So with that being said, I'm going to go over a couple of topics and things. One of the things is how to stay motivated when you're in this time and the situations that are facing us, we're trying to be extra safe. We got to keep our, our people first. We got to keep their safety firsthand and with everything. Shouts out to you, brother. It's good to see you. And so with that being said, training for you guys must look like this. Have your agendas front and center, yours specifically. Because when you're feeling good about your training, it's going to kind of leak off of you and directly into the people that are looking to you for that service. So have your regimen, even if it's six to 12 movements, exercises to get you going, because what makes you different is that you are the kind of person that will wake up and serve other people. So you are in the service industry. And what that requires is also a play by play book. The service industrians must walk by faith and must never elude the light and bring in the light to the people. So have your regimen in front of you every morning. I won't even say 
I don't know exactly what's here, but the first thing that gives you insight is kind of waking up with a regimen. So take your regimens a little series and go by them. Take the first 12 to 15 minutes of the day to get yourself going. And whatever is the thing that gets you to that point, do that. Some meditate, some turn on music, some have a cup of tea. If you start the morning off with a ritual, these are going to be some simple points. But the simple points are the only ones that land because that's what we're more inept to forget about when we get up in the morning. So take those simple things and make them a part of your day because you're responsible for a lot of people's mindset. So get your mind in the right place. Every single day, I have to remind myself to stay on my ritual or I will kind of pivot off of it. For lack of a better word, pivot off of it. But that's first and foremost. For those of you who are training people and putting yourselves in the light to shine for bringing the purpose of bringing the light out of others when you cannot be in front of them. And I repeat, when you cannot be in front of them, be in front of them. That's why they made cameras. That's why they made streams. That's why people utilize them for conferences. Be in front of your people. Go ahead and set your agenda. Get an agenda to set. Class times, don't let it waver. Get your, if it looks like it's going to be for a period of time, go ahead and reprice your sheets for online work. Okay. People like to know you're paying attention to detail. And if the service has changed, then most of the time the price will adapt or adjust or the offerings will be different. So allow your people to fall into what you truly have when you are in a different setting and a different setting you'll be in. So maybe you can go to the gym, but if you're like Thomas and, and, and Marquise, you probably won't even be able to get to the gym. <laughs> so turn the camera on at home, whether you got a garage or an open space, do that and give them a, a good time limit. 30 minute workout virtually is good. That's, you know, any much more than that is could be overkill. Now talking and warming up, stretching, you can implement that, but people want to get on with their day. Now, if you're teaching skills, make sure that you have that extra time to go over things. And Zoom is a great platform for that. If you have four to six people or more, 10 to 12, Zoom's great. They can hold up to 250 people. And I think they even have a, a more, uh, more advanced uh, package that you can get that just kind of is almost limited, unlimited. But for the most part, put those things in your repertoire. You're not too big for it because these are our new times. Snowstorms, COVID-19, you know, we've had domestic attacks, you know, things, you know, through peaceful protests that gone crazy. The curfews have been set. Think about things and and we got your back. So there's no purpose or reason for anyone to not be on track and on task. People like to see that you are unwavering and that you take great responsibility in how you go about doing what you do and the service that you offer. There are tons of kids at home right now. So make sure that you're marketing to those parents who are pulling their hair out <laughs> right now when their kids are home all day 
the, New York is big, you know, Arkansas's big place. You got California's a big place. Wells, big place. It's a lot of kids in all of those places. Canada is huge. Get your region and lock it down. Stream, extremely important. Your streams are extremely important. So make sure that you are not overlooking this detail. And people will find it very, very easy to compliment your work and how thorough you are, especially with the programming that you're using. And everybody loves boxing already enough as it is. So I'd really take it into consideration to step it up. And for those of you guys who are competing athletes, you stay in the game. You train your butts off because this is the time where those who are meant to do it will supersede those who are talking about doing it. Good stuff. Make sure you separate from the pack. That's my message at all times when I'm speaking to you guys is create separation. We wake up every single day. First agenda. Be thankful and then start creating separation. I'm motivated because I'm up and I'm able to be up. <laughs> there are a lot of people that take those little things for granted. The next thing that we're going to get into is making sure that I had a couple of people. Uh, this is this segment specifically for you guys who have asked questions. Let me see what Deanna said. First time on Zoom tonight for my gym. Good. 12 clients. Not bad considering we went into hard lockdown Sunday or Monday. I uh, lost 21 members. Many thanks to Stacy. And I know she had the conversation with me. And look, there are a lot more people out there needing training than can fit in your gym, Dion. So, Coach, it's, it's where we are. And, hey, you have good people around you. And that kind of brings up my point. For those of you in that position, you must take these kind of feeds like this uh, with a grain of salt and into consideration. It's the reason why we do it. Like, that's so crucial to those people that look at you and give them a reason to tell someone else you'll lose 21, you'll gain 121. And that's how the ebb and flow works. You lose something in order to gain double. All right. So good stuff, uh, Dion. Yes, we can see your comments. Good thing. Thanks for taking the time to do that, Dion. William, it's good to see you, brother. Welcome. Yes. Yes, we love to be and have the camaraderie here. It's a powerful thing. And hold up. Hey, Coach Mike checking in from Jersey. Jersey's in the building. What's up, Mike? Come back strong from the knee injury. Yes, always take the opportunity to therapy is, is king. And I want you to really remember this. More time into preparation for what you're trying to do than the actual uh, event or the actual exercise or drills or training, whatever verb you want to use or adjective, it doesn't matter. Preparation is king. Max PT. All right. I fuse in that training. Uh, we have a yoga instructor in the group who should probably be doing a few yoga tips <laughs> uh, out in Charlotte. My man, it's good to see you. Taylor, um, hook your boys up over here. When we got the next tier of training, we will be popping up 
some things because I also know there are a lot of things that you want to coach. What are some ways to create separation? How do we achieve this? Oh, the honest, a good thing is constantly not make excuses. And you could probably go back three, four years in this group and you will never see me posting about something that's going wrong. I'm always saying what's going right. Therefore, that positive energy generates into my workflow. So I can show you what I've done this morning is probably more than what people will do all month. And it's just 10 a.m. on East Coast and 3 p.m. out in London and, you know, 10 p.m. 10 p.m. out in Aussie. And I can go on and on. It's like, what, 7.30 in Cali? I just, the, the creating separation is working when they don't want to and not making excuses when everyone else is making excuses. They use COVID, they use unemployment, they use all of the excuses. You never see me use an excuse. You can go back and watch 90,000 video minutes of mine. Now, ever will I think of an excuse not to progress and create separation. So stay active, strategize, write out what you're going to have done. This is a strategy that I have. My conversation with you is strategized in order for me to get the best points across and the most uh, talked about or necessary conversations. Strategy. Everything deserves its own book. I have a strategy book for every topic. This actually says, this is my strategy for the fight show. Everything, that's how I create separation because I can point to 20 people in a room and 20 of them won't have preparation. This all starts with strategizing. And from that point, you follow your process in which you wrote out. It's hard to beat a guy like Coach Belichick when he had Tom Brady because he had all the pieces and he had the mind strategize. And when you strategize, you have a system in which you're going to get to point A to point B. And with that system, there's not a lot of what we call side noise, which is what we call that impulsive reaction. It calls you to say, today I'm going to be making donuts. Oh, tomorrow I'm going to be making tires and cars. This day I'm going to be making ties and hats. This day I'm going to start making pies. The things that distract you from your strategy, because if you just have it here, the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to see the next attractive thing to look at. So you will come off course. So it prevents you and it takes up so much time. And then days or weeks or months later, you're back to that same space that you were at at the beginning. So that's one of the things that's important. So, Dion, that was a great question. And it is it's it's. It's just you, it, it takes tips. Dion, your vid in the snow reminded me of Rocky. <laughs> it's crazy. So, Coach Calvin. Hey, Calvin, how's it going? We under snow, too. Ah, uh, good. Hey, and, and this is, hey, and that means people are home. And if people are home, that means they should be getting some work from their trainer. And if their trainer has not written in a schedule, and an agenda for them, that means they're going to have lucid time to add craziness and throw them off track and get off focus and out of focus and start missing class when the gym does open. So you got to consider all of those things are a domino effect from people allowing what the government says to impact how they make their decisions. I have to keep those that are under my tutelage locked in. That's a privilege. 
It's not, <laughs> you know, it's not a job. It's a privilege. You get an opportunity. Coach, in two minutes, you just made me realize I make too many excuses. Well, yeah, of course. I don't have strategy and get distracted. You answered that question perfectly. Thank you. You're welcome, coach. It's this is what I it's 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 learning the box step. You don't know the box step. It's gonna be really hard to be nat natural at no understanding the ring. And then the geometry of the box step. That's one of the key points of watching our clinics so that you can learn the simple process. I was watching a boxing match last night and the only instructions that happen when the fight matters most is keep your hands up, bend your knees, pump the jab. That's what happens in business. When you're in business and you want to bring more people to you, Stick to the fundamentals, strategize, know your audience, who is your customer, and directly talk to them. That's how you get more people in the door. Yes, the more sophisticated you get with it, the more people you'll get through the door to a point where you can't fit people in the door. And that's the problem you all have. Now, you have a great product, which is teaching. Even if you're training people for fitness, you have an entire repertoire of orchestrated science. And we say this is the perfect time to teach people boxing while they're getting fit. And we take everything that you're saying into consideration and decide, does it is it time worthy to put time into these things specifically or are these things that are just throwing them off? When I speak of them, I'm speaking of you as trainers or athletes. You must really be able to weigh things if they fit into the thick of thing, into the scheme of things and the thick of things when you're hearing sideway noise. Uh, Coach Galvin, uh, congratulations on being appointed uh, for your classes. There are multiple people who are in a position now that they, uh, I remember Neil being put into another place. I, I didn't, I think now that it's an isolated conversation, we can put it in front and you can think back to hearing me say this, but for us to be uh, a, a soul force and source for you to help you with your programming because you have a bunch of skills. And if you are training fighters, you got training camps in the six week training camp. That's what that guide is for. Now, if you have people and you got a gym that has the equipment, you can take them through that type training. But the typical class fitness lasts an hour that training course for boxes that lasts three to four hours expect to not do that with regular people unless you divvy it up and do 40 second drills but if we can provide you with the training because we got a totally we got professional training and we got amateur training and we have fitness training courses for you that you could just say, all right, this is my situation. This is my gym size class wise. And this is the room that I have to work with and have programming sculpted and cultivated by master boxing in order for you to operate your fitness classes. That is how you transition what you're doing here to the game of fitness. I was the top trainer. I would like to say in the, in the country, but it sounds arrogant, but I mean, I just was, I mean, I sat in the room with the greatest minds in fitness, sports performance, physical therapy, 
rehab specialist, Stacey, will tell you. I'm I'm and I'm talking about in the NFL complex. And I stood out shoulders above. Matter of fact, I was a, they were yeah, the tallest person in the room to for me, to me, psychologically and IQ wise was only to my navel. And um so I I, I mean I speak to it from the highest of levels. And yes, I had that opportunity. And uh it's about sometimes what we are brought up under. My cousin is Troy Vincent. Pull up Troy Vincent, Hall of Fame football player. Oh, he just happens to be director of player personnel for the NFL, who is Roger Goodell's right hand. Like literally, he writes the rules. Roger is the fall guy. You know, Patrick Mahomes, his dad played professional baseball. When you're inept to be around higher levels of stuff when you're young, it will make being at the highest level like waking up in the morning. So uh, with saying that, my point is having these high level programs, which they are, and they come from a very wealthy uh, place lineage having the the fitness programming to go with that the kind of stuff that people look for i made hundreds of thousands of dollars you know i was the, the trainer who was in the facility that was just much more educated than everybody with the medical background with the sports performance background with the boxing all of that so it came into play so how do you make it make sense and how do you transfer that into a wealth of um, not just knowledge, but a wealthy platform for you to be known and recognized for that. People just like you were drawn and brought into and seen me and say, hey, I got something about this. I got to. It's because it's the levels that just permeate throughout the sales. You understand it and you see it. So I, I encourage you to have that same confidence in yourself. Because you guys are, this is what you eat and feed on every day. So, yes, when you are trying to do something like that and you want to bite off the chunk, that programming that we do is proprietary. And one of the beautiful things about it is that you don't have to think about it. You wake up, you got this these programs, and it'll be proprietary to you. Your name goes on it. It's yours. So and use it and it's going to catapult you. There's no doubt. No, <laughs> I don't care who you go get. Like when it comes down to programming, content provider is was my title. So I create, you know, for organizations and, and for people who get paid millions of dollars to, to play their sport. You know, I write for those type people. So that's where your programming comes from. So that brings value up to you without a doubt. So Calvin, uh, I know you want to separate and create separation and Dion coach, you want to create separation, have what separates you from the rest and then implement it. And the method of roll it in and out. Let me say that again, the method of rolling it out as well, which is what people, the other people really struggle with. Like, Whoa, you roll like this. Yeah. We roll it out hard. And before the end of this month, going into March, things are going to be rolling at a t pace of 10 times what they are already. So just think about and uh, we have you and anything you need to get in order. We will definitely if you got to structure some kind of payment plan, it's always that available. You never think of it as, oh, I got to spend more. And you say, no, we're trying to show you how to make more. And I don't want you paying anything if you don't understand how to make money off of it. Even though there's value to it, you want it to be valuable. And we do not edify sitting on our work, not using it. Everybody should be making minimal $150,000. If you're not, you just don't understand the business plan to roll out and how do you build your streams of revenue in your endeavor with us. So then you buy into the next 
sectors that will help you learn and walk through these things. And that's all it's about. That's the bottom line. The ability to have time God's given you to learn and document and go through the pros and cons and learn how to win. It's a powerful thing. And we want to make sure that you got it. But if you have your own forces and sources, that's beautiful. But just know that you have it here. We do what we can. We try to make sure that you understand what value is. And we understand that you need to know how to bring value. So, yeah, we're going to make you turn up your car engine. Your four cylinder is going to be an eight cylinder. The gas that you were using that was unleaded is going to start to go up in price because it's going to be premium. The audience that used to be cigarette smoking will now be caviar eating. You deserve to be in the elite levels, in the elite games. You have the type content that people are vying, reaching out for us on a daily minute basis for us. So feel proud with that. The lineage in which you're connected to now and under the umbrella of is yours. You're there. So now what do you do with it? That's the question. I'll read another comment and then I'll address another thing. Coach being an ambulant pan pandemic uh, paramedic here prior to the, to my accident in those calls being stripped. I found it valuable in gaining clients. People have it. People have that. Oh, your medical train. <laughs> yeah, right. Don't they? He's working with kids in wheelchairs, ETC. Very beneficial. It's a crazy benefit. It's a crazy benefit. Uh, what things do you look for in an amateur to say they are ready for the professional ranks? Well, first you need enough experience because fighting is all about muscle memory. So whether you got 200 fights or 60 fights that have proven you have something. Now, every once in a while, blue moon, you find that guy like who has those unique characteristics like uh Sugar Ray Leonard, who, but he was still groomed. He was getting smoked in the gym on days with uh, the guy I just had on the show, Dustin Poirier's coach, Dyer Davis. Dyer Davis's dad used to whoop Sugar Ray Leonard's ass. <laughs> Bottom line, and they were amateurs. You got to have more than athleticism quick twitch muscle. You got to have that list checked off that understanding the most important thing is humility. When you win and when you lose, when a fighter has that, he could be ready for things, but he must have a team. He must have manager. He must have someone who can speak on his behalf, agent. He must have a team of people that take care of him. His medic, Gold squad, the people who are really taking care of his physical, just his prowess, you know, whether it's a therapist, trainer, personal trainer of sorts. Coaches don't train. When you're training your fighter and you're coaching them, you're wearing yourselves thin. My fighters did not train at the boxing gym, okay? Just so you know. And I've walked in. I've walked the aisles with so many people who were trying to merge the worlds. And so when you get into Q3, you get to see the different types of coaches. And when I identify this, when you see this, this will give you true insight to how many different responsibilities that there are in gyms. So when you see this, you're going to be like, wow. We don't have that many guys. And that's why you're not going to see a lot of success. You must have a team because if you're wearing yourself thin, trying to just reach below average, that's where you're going to be. And us coaches who've been in the elitist circles are going to look for you to eat you because you got some ability, but you don't have the rest. 
and it shows up, especially as you start to climb the ladder. Yeah. When you get to that world and that 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 part of that that globe where the water is deep, everybody can walk in shallow water. But when you start to step into that water, that's at that level where you're going to these elite, elite tournaments and the water gets to here and then there. And then you start to reach those levels where the metals on the hand, like behind my back, when you start to see that and that level starts to change and you start to compete for those type things, that's when the fun starts. <laughs> Just know. So don't take it lightly. It gets deeper. So your little good days in the gym where you feel like you, now you can step it up. Be careful. Humility is king. And I done seen every level. We just happen to own and possess all of them. And uh, we're sharing them with you. Use them. Learn the rest of the things. Uh, it will take money to make money. That's in every situation. But just understand and appreciate the source that you are investing with make sure that they are reliable regardless where you go but you have some major stuff that you're working with you got some great material and it only get greater when you are doing those clinics in addition it just takes it to another level so the next thing is making sure you get signed up for the clinic that we're going to do to help you pass the test it's on me um, literally, the blood of my sweat and my tears, I will be doing it to give you the step by step each skill. So set aside maybe 90 minutes, maybe six, 60 to 90 minutes. We will get right into technique, footwork, logistics, knowing all of these little rhythms that matter most. I think you guys are appreciated. So. I definitely wanted you to make sure wanted to make sure that you had that and uh, the programming part just make sure you understand you can have the great knowledge but understand how to roll it out if you need to get programming yes it's going to cost but it'll be worth it because you won't have to redo it again if you add you want to add something because you have a different kind of audience let's just say you got some top boxers that come to your city and they want to be on they because i tell people about your gyms i don't let me down <laughs> because when i co-sign on you i have a high expectation that you will deliver and that people won't say man i went over there those cats don't know what they talking about don't be that guy if you got those kind of scenarios you make sure you reach out and um, get up under the programming moniker. Yeah, you're going to spend some money, but you won't be in that situation. And I know all of you can coach. And all of you have been under the tutelage somewhere prior to this. But there's also a reason why we shine in every layer and every level of boxing and UFC and Bellator and amateur boxing and the Olympics. It's because they're levels. So we got you covered. Programming, you know, although do I want to wake up in the morning and, and create program? Hell yeah, if you're going to use it. I do what makes sense. You remember, I have a strategy when I wake up. Is what you need worthy of me segueing? That's key. So I hope you guys, you know, appreciate that. Stay motivated with your people. Uh, never leave those those people in a place where they don't feel like you care enough. Do your live streams with everything. Double down on it as if you never met them at the physical gym. Do it for real. And sometimes if you are in a place where you don't know, you know, have your questions when we do our live streams and we can do it. And if you feel like you're serious enough to want a clinic, your gym, I know, Coach, uh, I know Coach Hudson and 
Roderick, several people that wanted to put, align themselves with just sector clinics, meaning they wanted to have it just for their, themselves, their gym, and so that they can maximize everything. We got you. And and I know I know what it looks like. It looks like those people want to separate and create separation because that's what they're doing. Because when you look at these programs, you'll see the people who all they do is invest in the program. I've been in gyms that all they do is op turn the open sign on and let whatever happen happen. And that's not how you maximize a gym. That's not how you maximize when you got a group of people online live. You act like as if there is no tomorrow and you turn that shit up and you don't turn that shit off because it's a privilege to be able to have people to wake up in the morning and can make any decision in the world and decide to come to see you. Enough said. Thank you. And I hope you guys are prepping. I think Stacy's sending a link for everybody to be signed into that clinic, the virtual clinic that we will go over the skills and the proper way to approach each technique. And that's a practical clinic that will be embedded in the School of Boxing to review throughout that 24 hour period. <laughs> After that, for those of you who are taking the testing, you take your notes, your own stack, your own staff with it. Meaning on your own staff, that means you're in the mix of that clinic. You utilize that, you 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 access that knowledge because that is going to be the Bible of your boxing, your foundation. All right. So I hope this this came across clear to you guys. And any questions, make sure you drop them in the comment box or or, or email. And if you have initial interest in doing your, having your programming done for your classes so you can have those things kind of don't drawn out for you, how should it look? How does it look when you're creating elite level programming for this situation? Uh, just reach out or we'll email away and, or you can, uh, schedule a conference call on uh, Zoom one-on-one -on -one and hammer out your situation and help elevate you and escalate you to the next level. Create separation, invest in your destiny, and don't take prisoners when you're doing so. Everybody's not meant to be in your circle. Everyone does not belong in your cycle. Make sure you are constantly around like-minded people who have the same algorithm, all right? And that's how you get to the higher levels of success. That's a simple recipe. Stick to it and continue to double down on your streaming whenever you're operating. I'll talk to you guys next time. Love having conversations with you. We will be looking forward to having you all on the show for the Super Bowl fight show. And it's going to be fun. We're going to have some great conversation and look to see if there are some businesses that we can do some investing in. If your business is awesome, make sure you're on that show. You want to win some prizes? Come to that show. It's Sunday, 3 p.m. It's going down once again. Coach Eric Bradley signing out. School of Boxing in the building. Be blessed at God's speed. We out. Check us out on Instagram Live, 12 p.m. It's time to box. Peace.